So in this short segment, I'm going to cover the uh, floor holes, the screw holes in the floors on the 53 foot dry vans. This here, as you can see, is a small shard of plastic. We got paper, and then you've also got other dirt and grime and everything. Who knows what that is that's built up in the holes. Uh, all these trailers have these screw holes. Most of them that have got the wood floor decks, they've got to have some way to fasten it down. It fastens it to the cross members on the trailer. Um, also, underneath this side rail here uh, is a really bad place for buildup. Uh, small pieces of glass, plastic, and everything. I mean, you can even get pretty good sized pieces of paper. Uh, stuck up in there. Like see I had th this hair was actually down a little ways the other direction. Uh, but anyways uh, that stuff gets stuck in there and by blowing it out or sweeping it out with a broom you may think you get it but as you run the vacuum over this it'll suck more and more of that crap out from underneath here. And like I said those are the main areas I found other, you know, spots where, like in here, paper gets stuck from loads, scrap loads. Uh, you know, obviously you can't get the uh, the companies that do the scrap bailing to keep the glass and stuff out of their out of their product and their their plants, but uh, removing it. So I'm going to show you just real quick what I do. Pretty good vacuum cleaner. You should be able to hold it a little ways away from it, and it'll suck it up. So you've got to have really good airflow. That is what's going to clean these trailers out. That's basically what I do. I do a three foot section at a time. I start at the front up here. Uh, obviously you've got the skid plate in the front, in the nose. Uh, that's where, you know, underneath there, that's where your kingpin is and all that. Uh, but anyways, what I do is I make sure that I use the vacuum. I hold it at an angle so that it creates a vortex and it really moves a lot of air in there. And that's what gets all the debris out of these holes. So as you can see here, you can actually see the screws. And that's what I'm looking for when I clean these trailers. Uh, you know, I don't want anything along the edges, nothing in the holes on the walls. All the screw holes clean, the cracks in between the floorboards, and that's that's pretty much how I do it. And that, if you do that, you don't have to use a blower and a broom to start with. You can use a vac to start with, but you just fill your vacuum cleaner up a lot quicker. So that's why I do it in the order I do. Uh, but anyways, so... Nice vac like that. In about two hours, you can have the whole trailer done. So, all right, thanks for watching. If you liked the video and it was helpful, be sure to hit the notification icon down there and uh, subscribe. Uh, any comments or suggestions would be greatly appreciated. Have a great day.